The Lady of the Bank was designed to emphasize the global reach of the Bank of England, but some fear that could be under threat. The risks from a referendum on membership of the European Union are certainly having an impact. The central bank has no official position on whether Britain should remain in the EU, but it says the outlook for financial stability has worsened. The referendum could also push up borrowing costs and weaken the pound. I'm sure the Bank of England is doing far more work behind the scenes than it is ever going to admit to publicly. It would be astonishing were it not so to do. Sterling has fallen to a seven-year low against the dollar since the start of the year, and markets are pricing in more currency volatility as the June 23 poll approaches. In the meantime, banks are being ordered to raise more capital. They'll have to hold what's called a counter-cyclical buffer of half a percent each by March next year. That's around £5 billion across the industry. The approach by the Bank of England and the FCA uh, seems to have brought some uh, stability uh, into banking as a business and I think anything that uh, improves that stability is to be welcomed. Some say the stability of the housing market also needs preserving. Buy-to-let lending has boomed in recent years on the back of low interest rates. And the BOE had a surprise for investors, ordering tighter credit checks on landlords to safeguard the £200 billion invested in buy-to-let properties.